turned out, Shrewsbury's performance exceeded their manager's wildest dreams. Wimbledon were outthought and astonishingly outfought. And John Bond was to enjoy his afternoon hugely. As Wimbledon's offside trap failed to impress the linesman, Dean Spink had a succession of chances. But it wasn't his day. Like Gary Shaw, Dean Spink too was once an Aston Villa player. Today, he might have had a hat-trick. The goal that mattered, though, came seven minutes from half-time. It was no more than Shrewsbury deserved. The cross coming in from Billy Askew, signed on loan this week. The finish from who else? Gary Shaw. Vintage Shaw, really. A reminder of glorious Villa days almost a decade ago. Wimbledon were to rally in the second half, and in the last ten minutes, indeed, Alan Cork might have snatched an equaliser. Wimbledon wouldn't have deserved it. The final whistle wasn't long in coming. A famous victory for a struggling third division club, which had little reason to expect it, and a manager who was as proud as he was back at Wembley a decade ago. That's the FA Cup, and the hero of the day, 